Uh, welcome, this movie is about VirtualBox. I'm going to install Linux Mint 18.1 Serena Cinnamon on Linux Mint 18.1 Serena. So, um, how should I do it? I have an, uh, a script on the GitHub of Eric Dubois, Ultimate Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. There's a little program, I just have to click and let's open it nothing magical it's going to download the virtualbox.org from the website it's gonna be the AMD64 uh, dep uh, package and it's going to install it that's it so you can do that yourself manually from the website I'd rather make a script and then we just agree to install it Normally I always start my movies with a screen fetch. Otherwise too many questions on Google Plus or on YouTube will be asked. What system are you on and all that. So a quick overview. We are on 18.1 Serena. We have the latest kernel installed. We changed bash or, or shell to ZSH and cinnamon 3.2 because of the 8.1 uh, when you have Linux Mint 18 you have normally 3.0 we have a special kind of arc version a red version a crimson version this is the look here up here and there and we have also a new uh, we made ourselves a new vampire look so a red kind of uh, wall uh, folders you can see here dark body and a red uh, back cover and that's all there is to say about that. In the meantime, yes, everything is done and installed. We don't need the scripts anymore. We just look for virtual. So that's another one that's explained on ericdubois.pe. And this is the Oracle version. So we're going to install this. I'm going to remove this. Otherwise, uh, delete all files. You don't see anything. So we're going to make a new one from scratch. Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. We are indeed on an Ubuntu 64 bits. I have 8 megabytes to give. I'm gonna give him half of it. Next, create a virtual hard disk now. Yes, create. If you want a VDI or a VHD or a VMDK, let's keep it like it is. Do you want a fixed size that it will not grow over 20 gigabytes or can it still grow? Yes, it can grow. And well, I have 20 gigs to spare and let's create it. Now I have to tell him that he has a storage, the controller ID, secondary master, optical drive. I have to tell him that you should take the Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon 64 bit ISO which have already downloaded you see it's in the downloads so it's ready to attach so now it is mounted this uh, image and what you do is thank you very much happy new year then and what we do now is just install it let's do this away automatic boot in three seconds we do have three seconds to spare let's get rid of this one we don't need this anymore yes I know yes I know let's make it a bit bigger and let's go over the easy installation of Linux Mint. Let's make it even bigger if we can. Something like that. So install Linux Mint. Probably the 50th time I've done it. So English. I rather use English. 
but you can use your own language of course never use this so it installs all kind of elements mp3 protected elements third-party software and so on I just don't do it I do it afterwards I do not try to mix um, operating systems together like Windows with Linux I really designate a complete SSD which is a very good tip use SSDs and you'll have a very fast machine in uh, erased complete disk install Linux Mint I never do it on my own something else I just keep it as it is what is going to do is going to make a large uh, here you see it a large partition for um, your root and a smaller one for the swap and that's just fine for me continue sometimes you visit these uh, operating systems and they make so complicated uh, partitions five six seven partitions with all different kind of formats I don't see the need so Belgian keyboard is for me important otherwise you, some, you choose something else and then you're gonna type in your name and I always log in automatically so I don't have to wait <coughs> sorry that's it actually so there's nothing more to tell about um, installation this installation is now been done and um, in a few minutes time everything will be installed and there we are we can now continue the testing or restart now so everything is installed let's reboot Please remove the installation medium and press enter. Let's have a look how we can do that. Maybe we don't even need to do it. Let's just check it out. What it does. Voila. No need to unmount our Linux EISO image. He's booting from the virtual hard disk. And there we are, we're welcomed. We don't want to show the dialog anymore. And now we can go and try out the system. You can try to minimize the screen, so that's possible. A lot of elements can be done. You can check up here what elements are uh, in what's interesting for instance is take a snapshot and so it's a frozen moment in time and when you install then afterwards uh, software you can go back before the time that you installed it so it's a kind of time machine if you know uh, the Mac uh, way of uh, doing it so full screen mode seamless mode scaled mode adjust wind size take screenshot video capture a lot of things you can do elements you can change but that is maybe for another movie.